Yo, what up guys? Sammy Lee here from the Soul Brothers and since Skechers talked shit to Nike about the Nike PG 2.5 Zion Williamson incident, a lot of you guys told us or told me to test out the Skechers basketball. It says here, so this is called the Torch. UA, or not UA. UA, Under Armour has a basketball shoe to called Torch, so I don't know if Under Armour's gonna sue them, but everyone's suing Skechers for copying them. But anyways, it's called the Torch. This is the low. It says Skechers Performance, <laughs> which is... <laughs> That's fucking this, <laughs> Okay, so you open up the box. I usually don't do unboxings, but you open up the box, and it says shit. Uh, oh, this is... Yeah, so this is the basketball shoe, and it tells you shit about running. So that's cool. Oh, and then, cool. You got a you got a catalog, and it says Skechers Go Run. So <laughs> you can you can get a Skechers running shoe. That's cool, right? And, and it tells you about their shoes that they have, and their technology, and uh, uh, which we'll get into, which is quite hilarious. So you open there up. And ooh, I got the triple break because that's the only color in there. <laughs> okay, all right. So, so here it is, the, the Skechers Torch Performance Best Kit Bow Shoe. You got a little bit of a sticker here as well. Um, I don't know why, but there's a little sticker there. So, so here is the Torch Skechers Basketball Shoe. This I, I got it from Walmart for like thirty bucks. It says retail price is like seventy dollars. So yeah, you really can't beat this price, but <laughs> getting it, uh, the quality of the materials and just the shoe seems like shit. I wasn't really expecting anything at all, to be honest, but so here's the shoe. Let's get it started off with the traction. You have a really interesting traction pattern. I don't know what to call this. It's just lines, but it's kind of interesting. It's, it's a pretty cool design. The rubber feels really weird. It's a really weird feeling rubber. And also in the in the middle, look at how thin the rubber gets. Like, I don't think that's gonna be very durable at all. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, so. Um, and I tried it on my wood floors and the traction sucked ass. It, it didn't it didn't stick at all, so uh, I don't think traction is gonna be good. Durability doesn't seem like it's gonna be good at all. Uh, I don't know, hopefully I just need to break it in and remove this like top layer of rubber that it seems to have but other than that no, not really expecting too much from the traction let's move on to the cushion so the cushion they're calling it it says 5 gen right here so 5 gen right here and it says performance and comfort responsive foam highly resilient cushioned protection <laughs> so this is okay so it's called 5 gen um feeling it you know, like kind of squishing it with my fingers. It feels kind of nice. Kind of, I, I, I say kind of. Um, like kind of soft, I'd say. So that surprised me, but putting it on, it didn't, it's not really that comfortable. There's a little bit of heel compression, but it's not, it's not great. And there is a little bit of rubber outsole coming up here on the medial side and also here on the lateral side. Uh, I guess for uh, lateral containment and caging of the cushioning um but yeah so the overall five gen cushions it, it doesn't feel horrible there's a little bit of compression uh so let's look at the insole the insole is this really bright tennis ball color and it literally feels like styrofoam like it feels like shit um so i i, I was expecting a lot more from sketchers because sketchers make some really nice really comfortable insoles so i'm kind of disappointed in that and then the strobel board, or there's really no strobe. I don't know if you guys can see because it's super dark, but it's it's like a really soft, soft like mesh material. You know, it's not. It doesn't feel like it's glued. But then you push down, it's really stiff. So I feel like the strobe board is uh, doesn't really help with stepping comfort. The insole doesn't really help with stepping comfort. So um, yeah, the only thing you're gonna get is. Uh, get anything from the cushion is the 5 gen cushion and it doesn't feel that great So we'll have to see on that moving on to the materials the materials. It says they use a premium Material, but yeah, this is the shittiest material I've, I've ever felt. It's like a synthetic material It's in the toe area and it kind of goes back all the way into the midfoot and also into into the the heel area, man. Oh, dude, so 
This is a really cheap feeling material. I mean, it's soft, and I guess it's supportive and doesn't feel horrible on foot, so that's good. The the tongue is made out of a mesh. It's, it's pretty airy, so I feel like that's gonna make ventilation a little bit better. But obviously, the material quality is not there. It feels like crap, um, but it doesn't feel bad on foot, so that's kind of a plus. Also, it says here, uh, it says quick fit. <laughs> I was like, well, what is this? Is this like a, uh, a an intuitive kind of like, you know, you, you zip it up or you, you pull on this and it does something and makes it tight, uh, fit a little bit tighter or something? No, it's a freaking pull tab and they call it quick fit like it's a new technology. <laughs> they got Oh man, that shit's hilarious, dude. Okay, so you have Quick Fit right here, which is a pull tab, which doesn't really do anything in the first place, but they're naming it and making it sound cool. So, so you have the Quick Fit system right there. Uh, moving on to the Fit, Fit I'd say is uh, pretty damn tight, uh, pretty narrow, and runs a little small. So if you have a really wide or thick foot, or not, not even just really wide, just regular, type of foot then I'd suggest going up half a size but if you have a narrow foot then you should, can probably go down half a size if you like if you want a really tight fit but yeah fit isn't great it's super tight super snug for me so uh, hopefully the materials do stretch out when I break this shoe in all right so just weigh this shoe is 9.38 ounces which is real light and it feels super light but um uh, usually cheap shoes feel super light so not not really impressed with uh, the technology that's been put into this shoe I, I don't know why I'm complaining though it's a $30 shoe so if it does perform like okay uh, that, that'll be actually like pretty nice because I feel like these will perform like shit uh, aesthetics uh, babe what do you think no yeah she said she doesn't like it and um, yeah so this is a triple black colorway and it kind of reminds me of like just triple black shoes that you would wear to work if you need triple black shoes. It says Skechers go basketball on the tongue. If you guys can see that uh, performance Skechers, you guys already know. Um, but yeah, <laughs> tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down below. But yeah, so this is the Torch Low by Skechers. Uh, do you guys think it'll perform well? I don't think it will. It feels like shit. Cushion does not feel good, traction doesn't feel good, materials don't really feel nice as well. But anyways, that's it. That's just my first impressions. Uh, does it basketball will be coming soon. If they do sign if they do sign Zion Williamson, which I really highly doubt they will, but if they do sign him or enter the basketball market, they really need to improve. But anyways, that's just my first impressions. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next one. Peace.